welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar in this lecture we continue studying the ach sandhi or vowel sandhi we have seen that there are two classifications available in ach sandhi first one being ekasthanika ekadesha and the second one is dvisthanika ekadesha dvisthanika ekadesha this is what we are studying right now where we have two substituents dvi sthanika and one substitute ek adesha two substituents and one substitute the first classification that we have already studied is ekasthanika ekadesha where we have one substituent and one substitute ek sthani and ek adesha this dvisthanika ekadesha is stated by the adhikara sutra ekah purva parayo this is 6184 there are two words in this sutra ekah 1/1 of ek meaning one substitute purva parayo is 6/2 of purva par purva means previous पर मीन्स लैटर पूर्व परयो मीन्स इन प्लेस ऑफ प्रीवियस एंड लैटर साउंड वॉट दिस सूत्र मीन्स इज वन सब्सटीट्यूट टेक्स प्लेस इन प्लेस ऑफ टू साउंड प्रीवियस एंड लैटर टू शो दिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन इक्वेशन वी कैन से दैट इफ यू हैव ए फॉलोड बाय बी immediately and they are in close proximity they are in the samhita mode where a is immediately before b and b is immediately after a eventually it is a plus b and then in place of both a and b you have one substitute c a and b are the substituents c is the substitute a and b are the sthani and c is the substitute a plus b is an input and c is the output this dvisthanika ekadesha is stated in the ashtadhyayi from 6184 ekah purva parayo onwards up to 6112 there are five instances of dvisthanika ekadesha of ekasthanika ekadesha we have studied two instances yan sandhi and ayavaya sandhi these are the two instances of ekasthanika ekadesha we have already studied the sutras prescribing these two instances we also studied the examples in detail and also the interrelation of rules now coming back to the instances of dvisthanika ekadesha we note that there are five such instances first one being guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad gunah this is 6187 we have already studied this in detail in the previous lectures we studied the sutra ad gunah the words continued in it the meaning of this sutra the selection for the criterion for selection of the substitute the template examples and then the specific examples we also noted the interrelation of 6187 and 88 and some other rules as well we have devoted 
a good amount of time in studying ad gunaha the second instance of dvistharnika ekadesha is vriddhi sandhi stated by the sutra vriddhi rechi 6188 and this is what we are going to study in this particular lecture the third instance of dvisthanika ekadesha is pararupa sandhi stated by the sutra ingi pararupam 6194 the fourth instance of dvisthanika ekadesha two substituents and one substitute is savarna dirgha sandhi and this is stated by the sutra akasavarne dirgha 61101 and finally the fifth instance is purva rupa sandhi stated by the sutra ami purva 61107 amongst these five we have already studied in detail the first one and currently we will be studying the second instance namely the vriddhi sandhi and after we finish vriddhi sandhi we may proceed studying the other instances of dvisthanika ekadesha so let us now proceed to study vriddhi sandhi what is vriddhi sandhi let us study the sutra vriddhi rechi in order to understand what is vriddhi sandhi This particular sutra 6188 contains two words vriddhi and echi vriddhi is 1/1 of vriddhi which is defined by panini in his very first sutra of the ashtadhyayi namely vriddhiradai so vriddhi stands for the three sounds a ai and Oh, this is what is vriddhi. H e is seven slash one of H. H is a pratyahara. We have already studied how to form pratyaharas. Now H consists of four sounds A O and I O. H is a pratyahara that takes into account sutra number three. and four in the pratyahara sutras ayun ruluk eong ai auch so third and the fourth sutra is captured by the pratyahara h so h e stands for immediately before a o ai and au the other words continued in this sutra are ad which means immediately after a short and long ad is 5/1 of a similarly we have samhitayam which means in close proximity in the samhita mode we also have ekapurva parayoho which means one substitute in place of two substitutions namely the previous or earlier and the latter having put all these things together we get the meaning of this sutra vriddhi rechi it is this in the close proximity in samhita mode when immediately before h that is when immediately before a o i and au a short and long or long appears then in place of both h and a comes the substitute termed vriddhi namely a i and o so we can show this in the form of an equation but before going there let us read the meaning of this sutra once again slowly the meaning is in the close proximity that is in the samhita mode 
when immediately before H, H E, when immediately before A, O, I and O appears a long or short, then in place of both of them comes the substitute termed vriddhi namely a, i and o. Now let us go to the equation. If we have a followed by h immediately, so a comes immediately before h and h comes immediately after a. They are in samhita mode, in close proximity. Then 6188 applies and vriddhi namely a, i and o is the substitute generated. So this is the input o plus h, 6188 applies and the output generated is vriddhi namely a, i and o. It is important for us to remember that h is part of h. H is a pratyahara formed capturing the sounds that appear in first four sutras Ayun, Ruluk, Aeong and Ayauch and H is obviously part of H. Now H is the condition for 6187. Ad is also the condition of 6187. So, 6187 has a scope of application which is also H and 6188 also has this similar scope of application. Albeit we note that 6188 has a scope which is part of the scope of application of 6188. Seven. So, this overlap of scope of application of rules feeds into the conflict of rules in order to resolve which the Paninian grammar and its tradition has laid down certain principles. One of the principles says that since 6188 has the scope of application of H and 6187 has a far bigger scope of application, 6188 applies in its limited domain of application. Because if you do not allow 6188 to apply in this limited domain, 6188 will not get any other domain for application. Whereas for 6187, there is some other domain to apply itself. And so 6187 does not apply in the condition of H, rather 6188 applies in this particular limited domain and then we have Vriddhi Sandhi, Vriddhi being the output generated after the application of 6188. To put it in the expanded form and the template of examples, this is how we can show the examples. When we have a plus a as input and in close proximity in the Samhita mode, 6188 applies and the output generated is i. When you have a plus a, now, at and he, they both are uddeshya and so they both stand for their homogeneous sounds. So, a stands for its homogeneous long variety namely a and so we have examples of these kinds. So, you have a plus a, we have already seen a plus a being the input and i is the output. Similarly, you have R plus A also as an input where 6188 applies 
and the output generated is i in place of both of them. Similarly, you have a plus o as input in Samhita mode and 6188 applies and au is the output that is generated. Then you have a plus o as input in the Samhita mode 6188 applies and au is the output generated. Then you have a plus i in the Samhita mode 6188 applies and the output generated is i in place of both of them. Then you have a plus i in Samhita mode 6188 applies and the output generated is i. Then you have a plus au in the Samhita mode 6188 applies and the output generated is au. Then you have a plus au as input they are in the Samhita mode so 6188 applies and the output generated is au. These inputs they could be at various levels within one pada, within a compound or at the end of two different padas in the sentence. Let us look at the specific concrete examples which illustrate these templates. First let us see the example where a plus a is the input 6188 applies and the output generated is i. So, first we have with the plus a shana. So, we have a coming at the end of this first word and this is a compound followed by another word at the beginning of which comes a and so in place of both of them 6188 applies and the substitute i comes in. So, we have with i and shana when we join it together we get vittai shana. This is a compound. Now, when we take atra plus eva where atra is a separate pada, eva is another separate pada. So, we have a coming at the end of this first pada and a coming at the beginning of this second pada and so now 6188 applies and we get the output atra i and v when we join them together we get atrai v. Next we move towards a plus a being the input 6188 applies and the output generated is i. So, we have ha ha plus a ha ha is a masculine noun and we are generating the dative singular chaturthi ekavachana of this noun. So, we have ha ha plus a and we have a coming at the end of this pratipadika and a at the beginning of the pratyaya and so we have 6188 applies applying and the output generated is ha ha plus i ha hai. This is the dative singular of ha ha. Now we have mala plus eva. Mala is a separate pada, eva is also a separate pada and so we have a coming at the end of this pada, a coming at the beginning of this pada. So, 6188 applies and we have mal, i and v as the generated output when we join them together we get ma lai v as the final output. So, these are also two different words vacha plus ekatvam and a coming at the end of this pada, a coming at the beginning of this pada and so the output generated is vach i katvam vach i katvam. Then we go to the next example a plus o is the input and the output generated is au. So, we have the compound first pakva plus odana where we have a coming at the end of the first pada and o coming at the beginning 
of the second pother. So, we have a plus o. Now, this is a compound. So, both these words are in the Samhita mode. So, we have 6188 applying and the output generated is pak, au and dana. When we join them together, we get pakvau dana. Similarly, we have tava plus ojaha. These are two different padas, part of the sentence tava plus ojaha. So, in this case, we have a coming at the end of this pada and o coming at the beginning of this second pada and they both are in Samhita mode. So, we have 6188 applying and generating the output namely tav au jaha tav au jaha. Then we have a plus o and the compound form is ganga plus ogha where we have a coming at the end of this pada and o coming at the beginning of this second pada. When we join them, them together after the application of 6188 we get gang au gha and then we get gang au gha as the compounded form. Similarly, when we have Raja plus Oshadhi Nam, these are two separate padas. This is part of the sentence where we have A coming at the end of this first pada and O coming at the beginning of this second pada. So, we have A plus O, 6188 applies and we have the output Raj, Au and Shadhi Nam. When we join them together, we get Rajau Shadhi Nam. Next we have a plus i as the input and i is the output. So, we have the ya plus i kya as a compound. So, a coming at the end of this first part of the compound first pada and i coming at the beginning at this second pada. So, 6188 applies and the output generated is dhyay i kya dhyay i kya. Then we have atra plus aichat. These are two separate padas. This is part of the sentence. So, atra has got a at the end of the pada and i has got aichat has got i at the beginning of this pada. So, we have a followed by i in the samhita mode. So, 6188 applies and the output generated is atra i and chat. So, we have atrai chat. Then we have a plus i as input 6188 applies and the output generated is i. Once again we begin with the compound where we have rama plus i kya where a appears at the end of the first pada in the compound i appears at the beginning of the second pada in the compound. So, they are in the Samhita mode and 6188 applies and we have ram i kya ram i kya. Then we have asha followed by aichat. These are two separate padas asha followed by aichat. So, asha has, has got a at the end and aichat has got i at the beginning. They are in the Samhita mode. So, we have a plus i here as an input and 6188 applies there and the output generated is ash i and chat ash i chat. Next we have a followed by au as the input 6188 applies and the output generated is au. So, the first example is that of two separate padas tava plus audaryam. So, tava has got a at the end of the pada, au has got audaryam has got au at the beginning of this second pada. So, we have a plus au in the samhita mode 6188 applies 
and the output generated is tav au daryam tav au daryam now if we look at the example of a compound we see that dheya is the first word autkanthya is the second word we have a coming at the end of this first pada au coming at the beginning of this second pada so we have a followed by au in the samhita mode so 6188 applies and the output generated is dhyay au and tkanthya when we join them together we get dhyay au tkanthya finally we have a followed by au as the input and the output generated after the application of 6188 is au so we have ganga plus aupamya this is a compound form where you have a coming at the end of the first pada au appearing at the beginning of the second pada so they are in the samhita mode so 6188 applies and the output generated is gang au pamya gang au pamya now we have the example where dhata is one word and aurjayat is the second word so there are these two padas part of the sentence now this a appears at the end of the first pada and au appears at the beginning of the second pada and these two padas are in the samhita mode so 6188 applies and we have the output generated in the form of dhat au and urjayat so we have dhat au urjayat it is important to remember here that in 6188 we also applied the उद्देश्य विधेय भाव एंड देन अनुदित सवर्ण से चाप्रत्यय सो अ स्टैंड फॉर अ एंड आ एंड देर फॉर ऑल दीज एग्जाम्पल्स हैविंग आज द इनपुट नाउ आफ्टर हैविंग स्टडीड ऑल दीज एग्जाम्पल्स लेट एस लुक एट द इंटर रिलेशन ऑफ रूल्स एंड हेयर वी हैव वन इंस्टेंस the interrelation between 6188 and engi pararupam 6194 or what is engi pararupam engi pararupam has got two words engi and pararupam engi is 7/1 of eng this means immediately before eng and eng means a and o capturing the sounds in the third pratyahar sutra eong pararupa means 1/1 one one of pararupa meaning a substitute of the form of the latter the words continued are ad 5/1 one of a short or long and ad means immediately after a short or long upasargad also continues from the previous sutra upasargad rati dhatau ad continues from ad guna upasargad means it is the 5/1 of upasarga which means immediately after a preverb upasarga is a preverb dhatau is 7/1 of dhatu and so it means immediately before a verbal root dhatu is a verbal root ekaha one substitute takes place and purva parayo 6/2 which means in place of previous and latter sounds all this put together the meaning of 6194 can be stated like this immediately before a verbal root that begins with aing that is a or o and immediately after a preverb that ends in short or long a in place of both one substitute in the form of latter pararup takes place so let us look at the equations and here we have the equations but before going there let us once again read the meaning carefully 
immediately before a verbal root that begins with ing. So, engi dhatau. And then we have Yasmin with his tadada balgrahane. So, we have ingadau dhatau. That means a verbal root that begins with ing and immediately before that. And then if there is a preverb that comes immediately before it and this preverb ends in short or long a. Uh. So, we have in place of both of them one substitute in the form of the latter sound. This is the substitute. Now, to put it in the form of an equation we have this is the bracket indicating that this is a preverb and this is the verbal root. This preverb ends in a uh, and this verbal root begins with either a or o. Then in such a case we have the output generated. This is the remaining part of the preverb and in place of a uh and o the latter that is a or o is the substitute. So, a or o remains over here and this is the verbal root. This is the output generated and here is an, a concrete example. We have pra plus ejate, pra is a preverb which ends in a and ejate is the verbal form where the verbal root is eja at the beginning of which comes a. So, we have pra plus ejate and the output generated by 6194 is pra ejate that is prejate. If we look at the conditions over here, there is a followed by a. So, this is actually the scope of application of 6188, a plus a and the output is i. But because 6194 has further restricted domain of application, because you do not want any a over here, you want an a only at the end of a preverb, an upasarga. And obviously, you do not want any a over here, you want an a which is at the beginning of the verbal root alone. So, preverb and verbal root only in this situation, only in this environment 6194 applies. Obviously, this is very restricted domain of application and therefore, in this case 6194 applies and 6188 does not apply. To summarize, in this lecture we studied in detail the Vriddhi Sandhi, we studied the Sutra, we also studied the meaning of the Sutra with the help of the words that are continued. We also applied the Uddesya Vidhaya Bhava and Anuddit Savaranasya Chapratyayaha. Then we studied the examples in details at different levels within a pada or in between two padas. We also studied the interrelation of 6188 and 6194 and we also noted that the domain of application of 6194 is smaller than six, that of 6188. Now, there are some more rules whose domain is going to be further smaller than 6194 and in those cases 6188 is going to reapply. Now, we shall study these rules and their examples next. We also study some other instances of this kind, other examples stated by the later Paninian grammatical tradition. All this we do in the coming lectures. Thank you for your patience.